Just cleaning up to get on out of here. Got a gear bomb going on. Let me show you something. Okay. If this thing ended up in my tent last night, we'd be in a truck going home. <laughs> okay. So it's not a snake. Hey. So it's not a snake. I didn't say that. Uh-oh. That's Doug's grouse egg he found. Look at the size of it. The suspense is killing me. Hey folks, we're going to get back to part two of the video real quick here, but it's been a hot minute since I talked to you about my favorite game, Raid Shadow Legends, which is available for mobile and PC and it's free to download. So Raid's got a bunch of different factions, 16 to be exact. You can expect to see some orcs, some dwarves, some undead hordes, tons more. Things that don't rhyme as well. And each faction is made up of unique champions. Look how unique these champions are. So out of all the factions, my favorite guys are the lizard men. Because while the Telerians are generally considered the good guys, and that's kind of boring. And the High Elves are just, you know, annoying. Always complaining about humans' transgressions in the past. The lizard men think of humans as dirty barbarians, and I find that kind of amusing. And I really love the graphics. I love how the lizard men look more than anything. There's ongoing tournaments all the time where you can challenge yourself. Some tournaments like the Spider's Den, Ice Golem's Peak, the Almighty Fire Knight, or the Notorious Dragon. And in doing so, you can win some awesome rewards and rare artifacts. And what's more, you can compete in the brand new arena tournament, earn points according to your tier, and win awesome rewards in the local and global tournament. So guys, finally, you can play this awesome game and support my channel by downloading Raid Shadow Legends from the links below. And if you're a new player, you can get 100,000 silver and a free awesome champion named Hexweaver. Thank you very much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring my channel once again. Thank you guys for listening to this and downloading and supporting my channel. On to the video. What? He's gone? Where? In the bushes. Oh, he's a big boy. I can't really, uh, hold on. What? That's what it is. He's got something in his tummy. That's why he looks so fat on the back. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it is a hog nose. I think the hog nose would have flared his his, uh, his head up at us already. I don't like them. Well, I was hanging out this morning for a little bit, had a fire, did the morning duties, and now it's time to make up a batch of pancakes. A batch of pancakes, you say? A batch of pancakes. You're supposed to put three quarters of a cup of water, and neither of us know how to make those conversions from <laughs> that to millimeters or ounces. So we're going to go by feel. That'll work, right? That's exactly how I do it at home anyway. Some lard in there, quite a bit of lard in there. <laughs> Okay, she done. Doesn't look too bad either. Oh, bam, son. Extra lard today to keep us going. <laughs> this is super good. I got the middle cooked, so that's a bonus. Got big old chocolate chips in there. Super lardy, it's crispy on the outside. Very good. Dense. You got another one here? I don't know how much those are. 
It's not my shot. Well, I didn't, didn't want to scrape it all over. Well, make one, make one less for this. Yeah. You got, you got another one here. Okay. Small one. Very, very good. Oh my goodness. Full of chocolate chips. It's like a dessert pancake. Mm hmm. Too bad we didn't have Saturday morning cartoons to watch. Okay, that one didn't turn out quite as well, but <laughs> that's all right. It shall taste good. This is like the messiest thing to make in the woods, though. Clean it up the old pan, clean it at the water, put some water in it, and boiled it out. That way we'll get all the scents and all the remnants out of it. Now well, we're all but packed up here. Let me get out. Oh yeah, I got it on the wrist too. See it tracking up my leg, the red. So the bite is here. All right, and it goes. Tracks up to underneath my, my knee. Must have got a bug trapped underneath my watch. Look, I'll show you what I mean. This is Charlie's oh, tracked up to my elbow now. So you can see there's a big old swollen bite there. And I, it doesn't happen every time, but I think it's when you get in, they can really mash around. But look, this tracked all the way up there. I am starting to feel it, like a little bit sickly from it, but again, we're uh, going to make it work. Today's the, the full day, and then tomorrow we'll paddle out of here, so everything will be all right. Plus, we have not much to travel today, so it'll be good. I tucked my, uh, my pants right up into my socks today just to keep them out of there, so that should help too. Yeah, it's not a great thing for someone who makes you know it makes videos outside has to go outside and in the spring it's not really a great thing for them to have but you can see how puffy it is there eh? like look at the bag and the canoe are almost the same color green in the sunlight <gasps> oh kismet all right campsite's clean on to the next one on to the next one just did a small portage and we're working our way into a pretty decent headwind over to our big one of the trip, 1,400 meters. So we're gonna double carry that, considering we got two backpacks. Take it nice and easy. Not full sun, so that's nice. Well, we walked about halfway, dropped our bags, went back for the canoes. We're gonna relay it a bit. Stop the spot that we stopped at. This little creek crossing. So it seemed like a good place to, to leave this stuff. Went back, grabbed a snack, threw the lighter backpack on. It's nice having the two backpack system. Like, this here, here's the here's the thing. Like, one carry, single carry, heavy, arduous, but you get it done and it's done. Double carry, you walk in three times. So this 1.4 kilometer portage turns into almost four and a half kilometers. There, back there. Not carrying the whole time, but time-wise, distance-wise, it still is that. So there's trade-offs for both, for sure. But it is really nice on a trip like this to have the leisurely time to kind of go back, bring mo bring most heavy gear on the first run without the canoe, go back, grab the day pack or later pack, as it were, with the canoe. No paddle, no um, fish pole rigged up onto the canoe to carry it. So it's kind of nice. Oh my goodness, look at this. That is one big pile of wolf poops. Big hairy. The big dirty. Portaging is kind of nice sometimes. You get to see different things. You get to get off the water for a while. Yesterday we barely, we were on the water all day. Barely got off. A bunch of moose tracks. Here's one, they're pretty fresh. Another one here. There. There are the moose. All the animals for that matter take the path of least resistance so you can be sure they're going to be on portage trails. So we're done that portage finally. Just in the canoe because the bugs are pretty horrendous. And uh, yeah, there's a breeze out here getting rid of them having a snack and we're gonna head to our next portage which is 400 meters then we're on our 
our lake for the night. The wind is uh, kicking up, the weather is kicking up a bit too. It started to rain for a little bit, but it doesn't seem too bad. Just killing a beef steak strip. Good enough. Got into the rain a bit. Still on that lake, trying to get to our last portage. It's a long lake. There's a campsite up here ahead. I want to pull up and put my rain gear on so I don't get too soaked, but I'm pretty wet as it is. Maybe we'll take a minute here and see if the rain will pass. Coming in hot, sandy beach. Nice, easy landing. Well, we decided to hit a campsite and uh, have a snack under the trees and see if this blows over before we get all suited up. How come it doesn't go? Well, I think I can't even see. Well, sun is shining, everything's good again. This uh, it was a good idea to pull over here. Got my, my jacket on, warming up a little bit. My pants are soaked, but I'm getting warm again. I was chilly. I was chilly with the breeze hitting it. But uh, yeah, man, this is pretty cool weather today. It's nice to have a break from the sun and then nice to have a break from the rain. We were all sweaty on that portage and uh, the rain kicked up, the breeze kicked up, and I am, I got a coat on. Look at this nice sandy beach. Doug and I were saying it's so nice to come up to a, to a sandy beach like this in the middle of the wilderness. It is a trade off though, because the camp's not. Great. No, the camp is not. But you can go back up into there. This is a fine for. This is good for fire. Yeah, perfect for fire. Hammock style, though, like you're saying. Well, Doug. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's. Ding dong ding. I think it's uh, gonna be a beauty day. We gotta get into our our home lake, and the day is ours. Wanna get going? the bass will be down in this lake and the other fish will be up. They don't want to catch bass. What a gorgeous sky. This is just a great day, man. Another great day. I'm feeling much better as well. Just getting up and moving helps a lot. I'm just going to tuck back into this corner over here. I'm trolling right now. Hoping to snag a lake trout. That would be amazing. No luck in the casting department. So, we'll see. I got a deep diver on down pretty deep, so. Pull some out here. Big lake, big fish, right? A little piece of a lake. That's a chunk of water. It sure is. Oh my goodness, we don't have to leave here. No, 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 no. This is plenty. 
All right. Home sw- the map. It's just like a little piece of this monster lake. Imagine how big the lake is. The lake would be, it would be white cap. Yeah, this is, oh yeah, this is just a little puddle. Home sweet home. Check, check, check. Hey guys, it's uh, 4.30. I passed out in this tent. Um, we got to camp a couple hours ago, I think. That um, sickness from the black flies started hitting me real hard. And I set up my tent to get away from them. And I kind of laid inside it with just no sleeping pad. Just kind of on top of my sleeping bag and stripped right down. I passed out. I feel a little bit better. Um, now that I've done that and woke up, so this is a reminder like it's kicking my butt. <laughs> Everything's all swollen up and stuff. It's again, it's not because I don't like getting bitten by bugs, it's not because I don't like them in my hair or around me. It's that I have a very severe reaction. It's either allergic or um, something close to that. My body does not accept these bug bites, so. When you hear me complaining about the bugs, it's not because I don't like them. As you can see, like the, the bugs weren't even bad yesterday. I was fine with it. I'm fine with it all. I'll go through it again if I just didn't get sick from it. Anyways, um, Doug left a long time ago, I think, when I went into bed. I haven't seen him. I got out to go grab my camera from my backpack. I still didn't see him, so I imagine he's out there. Hopefully, he's going to catch us some fish for supper. Uh, I'm not going to get out to fish until well after supper, I'm sure. I'm just starting to come around right now. I was out. I was zonked. And I, I, I kept covered up. You know what I mean? I had pants on, long sleeve shirt on. Or not a long sleeve, but maybe I have one bite up here. That's all my legs. My legs are blew up. The bug jacket wouldn't have helped. But All right. I'll get with you guys in a bit. I already got the sock on, but this is how I'm doing it today. Covering up, even though I have tight closures. I showed you my other leg. So this is this leg. And I got some tracking up on this one, too. The watch. That's how tight they were. With my sock, thick socks on too, and they're crawling up it. Anyways, not today, black flies. Not today. Listen. Hear that? It sounds like rain. This black flies bouncing off the tent. In here. Well, how was your fishing expedition, Doug? It was not what I was going for, but still good. Yeah. I, uh, no walleye to be found. It's too shallow over there. But I picked up five. And I was holding out for a five oh, what? Five pike. Oh, sorry, five pike. Oh, nice. And I was holding out for a while, so I kept putting them back. And then I just decided now. I said, uh, I'm not gonna be the guy that throws the last fish in and has no supper. So I kept the pike in the. He's in, in the, the canoe. In the canoe, yeah. Nice. So we got something to eat at least. Yeah, let's go check it out. Well, let's go. Oh, look at it. Snapping turtle. Snapping turtle eggs. In the hole, I'm sure it was probably an animal that got them, but maybe they escaped and, and became turtles of themselves. Oh, yeah, a little chunky butt. Nice. Look at that chunky butt. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. That's the only part I, I know when I like that part. It sounds, <laughs> sounds oh shoot. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. some real good hardwood back in there. This is oak, the other one's maple. Try and cut up as much as I can here. Well, bugs are relentless out there or in here regardless. Doug's carving up a bear out there. It's gonna be a while before I 
get to that fish. So I'm gonna cook up a little bit of chili just to hold me over. I've got a rock in here, so I'm not gonna do it right on the earth. So I imagine if I do it in here, it's gonna be enough smoke in here to keep the mosquitoes away. Or sorry, the black flies away, because that's what's really bad. But we shall see. I collected some birch um, on the ground along a portage today. I thought it would come in handy because a lot of the times the campsites don't have access to birch and things like that. All the easy pickings has been long picked. chili another red meal once again there's <laughs> an overall red tinge to my foods on over here this bush buddy's still going strong Doug's got a pretty cool twig still with us today or on this trip I mean again you should go check out his video of this trip on his channel at Doug Oats or sorry Doug Linker so already this, the bugs have calmed right down in here. Uh, they really, really do not like the smoke at all. As far as this tent, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty pleased, you know what I mean? Like, I had zero condensation in it last night. I took a nap in the middle of the day in it today with the sun beating down and it wasn't overly hot. Mind you, I stripped right down, but the ventilation, the little bit of ventilation doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. Um, oh man, the black flies back there. They're hiding from the smoke. Um, it's made of a different material. It's very porous, so maybe that helps. Like it's not, it's not a sill nylon at all. I don't know what it is. But anyways, I, I'm really. I, when I first set it up, I was kind of like, oh man, it's a pain in the butt. Like where's my big Agnes type thing? But even here, it wasn't a good campsite for flat spots, and I, I found I was able to get this footprint. As long as I can understand where I need this spot, where I need the sleeping spot at to find it where it's flat, the rest doesn't matter, and I can p peg it down. I actually had to use rocks in, the, in this uh, spot to peg it down in this corner, and it worked out fine. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't bring it on a high mileage, big big trip, just because of the bulk and the, the time it takes to set up. But definitely for something like this, it's not bad. I, I'm pretty pleased with it. Pretty pleased with it. And I'm happy about that. I didn't know what to think after some comments I got on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Joe Robinette Bushcraft. And I post lots of family stuff and what I'm doing from day to day in between videos and little things like that. You wouldn't believe the amount of black fly. I have to show you. They're just all tucked in the corner avoiding this. There's none right here with me. My food's all done. I'm just keeping a slow, low flame on here to keep the heat going. Hope that it makes <laughs> a little bit of smoke. Doug's behind the camera making weird things. Anyways, we're about to eat. I gotta show you these black flies though. Bug City. Alright, well this chili is very good. Like it always is. No surprises there for me. Wife's chili. I think Doug's going to get that fish flayed up pretty soon here. We'll split it up. Maybe I'll only have a couple bites because I already have a chili. But um, then we're going to go out and fish. I'm going to go uh, see what we can get tonight. I'm feeling much better after that nap. After getting something in my belly. So that helps a lot. I cut a bunch of that wood and it was just draining me, but I do feel better. Check it out. Doug gave me the carving he was making yesterday and today to give to one of my daughters. Just one though. That's pretty cool, eh? Look how cute that is. Doug does all sorts of stuff like this all the time. Pretty cool. I can't do that. Alright, let's try a piece and see if they'll sizzle. <laughs> Almost. 
Oh yeah, that'll be good. That's what I want to hear. Hey? Yes. Last time I did this, someone come in. Get your filthy fingers out of the food. <laughs> Listen, I'll eat it. I don't even care about the fingers. Oil, oil sanitizes everything. Doug did a glorious job of cooking that fish. Glorious, nice and golden. If you can't tell, I'm a little cold. I got a puppy jacket underneath this too, but it's not even that cold out. Ready? Oh, that's very good. I haven't eaten pike since my 10 day alone series where all I, all I caught was pike, and that was a couple years ago now. So, I swore I'd never eat a pike again, but honestly, you couldn't. I couldn't tell the difference between pike, walleye, or bass when it's deep fried like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you doing there? It's good, eh? Yep. Got a decent amount of meat off that one pike too, so it's perfect. Alright, thanks for the fish. I'll see you later. Alright, I'm gonna try my hand at some fishing. It's uh do you know what time it is? Seven thirty-five. An hour out there, maybe. I switched out. I had to put long johns on. I got my puffy jacket and this rain jacket on. I got this silly thing on my head. I'm just, I'm so cold. It's part of the black fly fever dank. But I feel okay now with all that stuff on. Maybe I'll get out into the sun, and it'll be a different story. I need my bug spray, dog. Why'd you throw it to me? <laughs> we got it. We got it. There you go. Thanks, dog. What a guy. All right, fishing. It is pretty bright. Very nice paddle in here. I'm in, in this little windy part channel. It's pretty shallow, so no fishing, but beaver lodges, and old stumps, lots of birds flying around. Very nice. We're in about a foot of water in here. Got a decent fish on. I don't know what it is. It's pulling like pretty good here for me. Doesn't feel like a bass. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, it's spicy. Holy smokes! That's a bass and a half. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Dog. A big old bass. Pretty happy with that. We'll put them back. There it goes. Biggest bass of the trip for me by far. That was a football. Cool. Still no walleye. No Lakers. It's actually pretty shallow in here. We must still be in, a, in this bay here. You know, it came out through the, the narrows and everything thinking that this would be bigger water. But... Sun is intense. Well, nothing but that bass. I'm gonna go try and find Doug. See how he's doing. Got a little warm. Be able to take off some layers. Although the sun is directly on me, we're kind of tucked around in a little cove and off this big lake. And 
and the sun's not in there, so. And the wind was whipping through, it was getting through my phones, and I think that's the problem. It's like, uh, you know when you have like a fever or whatever, or like the flu, and you, like, the, you get aches and pains in your skin, like your body just sucks. Wind or cold water or anything like that. That's exactly how it feels. I'm just out here in wind and cold water. But, anyways, enough about that. Fine, dog. I'm gonna stay for a little bit longer and head back and get a fire going. We got a ton of oak. I was wrong, it wasn't maple and oak. It was oak and oak. So, we got a good fire ripping tonight. ready to head back to camp and get the fire going so that's what's going down we got to get up pretty early in the morning we got to paddle all the whole way from here all the way back to the car tomorrow which took us two days to get here but we we're very very uh, at a leisurely pace so i imagine it'll still take all day tomorrow regardless but <clears throat> i gotta get an early start Well, the wind has really kicked up. Got this fire going, but I'm probably gonna go to bed here pretty soon. It's after 10 already. Um, like I said, I wanna get a good sleep and get up in the morning. This is a good trip though, eh? Very good. Had a lot of fun. Yesterday was very eventful, lots of things going on. Today was really good too with the weather. We had on and off heat, uh, on and off rain. It was exactly what we needed. I had a nice nap when I got here. I needed that too. So everything except for the illness from the bugs, a-okay, but again, this is just a reminder to me. I'm glad I went on it on this trip. Um, I think I avoided getting mostly any black fly bites today by tucking my pants into my socks. I think that was a game changer. And later on in the day, I started doing this, tucking my shirt in and things like that. So it, the black flies like to crawl on you and get in as opposed to the mosquitoes just putting their little proboscis in through whatever. So proboscis. proboscis. We'll uh, we'll try to plan that way for the future, but this was a good good eye opener. Say so good night, Doug. Good night, Doug. I knew that was coming. See you in the morning. at him. I haven't heard Doug yet, but it's time to make some noise. I don't have any birch bark or anything, so I grabbed some small, small twigs and just broke broke them put some pine needles in there I don't want the flame to drip on my chair but see how good that lights hold it upside down to really gain more flame gain the flame and it's gonna go out Regain the flame. Regain the flizzane. Regizane. <laughs> oh, 
We're good. We're good. Just gotta have to blow it. It's pretty decent flame on there. My hand's right above it. I can feel where the warmth is coming, but it's not anything bad. I think it's pretty awesome. Let's get some water in the pot and get the pot on top of that so the flame's not exposed anymore. Tippy. Sounds like a rap name. Look, Tippy. Yeah? No? It's crazy. The heat actually gets retained in here. Like, I can feel warmth from this bush buddy twig stove in here. I really like this tent. I have a feeling it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for me. How does this look? Is this a good look for me? <laughs> I feel much better this morning. I'm super glad because uh, today's going to be a big travel day. And I didn't want to have to be slow and dug down. Oh, we got this oatmeal into us. Tear down camp. I heard Doug unzip his tent over there, so I'm sure he's up now. And uh, get on out of here. Well, I apologize that the last little bit of this is going to have to be on the, uh, the action cam. I certainly didn't want to leave that bag at the, gro at the hotel. I have to go there today when we get out of here before I go before I start driving home to get it. All my batteries, everything, like I said, and I need to take some antihistamines and uh, the other one, prednisone, and I think it's a steroid, not a uh, antibiotic. I was calling it antibiotic yesterday. Off bite. All right, up and at them. Thank you. 